What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel Dylan here. We have a huge update in Georgia. Wow, things are getting crazy and I love to watch it. I don't know about you, but I've been watching the news, watching the updates, checking my phone. Any updates, any updates? Well, we got a big one today. So thumbs up the video. Let's try to get to a thousand likes. Where is it? I'm reading today from the Holy Bible before we get started so we can all listen to the Word of God. Because I think it's important right now to listen to the Word of God. Okay? Um, and if you don't like the Bible verses, well, I'm sorry if I have to lose a few watchers. It's okay. I think we'll all be okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> By the way, I have a free newsletter down below if you'd like to join. You can type in your email and never lose access to my videos and my updates. <clears throat> Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wow, how beautiful is that. God restores our soul. And I feel like even right now, or kind of lately, we really have been walking through the valley of the shadow of death. There's been darkness left and right. Um, you know, even with social media out now, there's so much negativity and garbage being shoved in our faces constantly left and right. We've got to put up with our TVs here, showing us, you know, dumb TV shows that no, you know, no one should really be watching. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like a lot of the TV shows that they come out with. You know, all those Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and all these shows that just promote, you know, absolute horrid stuff that's all fake and just a distraction from, you know, uh, I mean, I guess that's what movies were created in the first place. Anyways, I'm getting completely sidetracked, <laughs> but God is guiding us through the darkness throughout it all. And, you know, keep close to God and you'll, you'll, be, you'll be all right. All right, so Georgia update. Sorry, I get totally sidetracked and distracted sometimes. I don't know if that's because I got ADHD or ADD or OCD. I don't know, I'm, I'm undiagnosed, but I got something. Runoff election in Georgia may decide fate of US Senate. So as we all know, as I'm sure y'all know, Georgia is going to a runoff. This comes out of Reuters as of an hour ago. Control of the U.S. Senate may once again be decided in Georgia. Weeks after Election Day as a tight race between Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock. What do you guys think about Raphael Warnock? And Republican challenger Herschel Walker. What do you guys think about Herschel Walker? Was headed to a December 6th runoff. With more than 99% of the vote counted, Warnock is narrowly leading against Walker former football star endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Two formers. But Warnock has, has not yet reached 50% of the threshold needed to avoid a runoff, according to data from Edison Research. While county officials are still doing the detailed work on counting the votes, we feel it is safe to say there will be a runoff for the U.S. Senate here in Georgia slated for December 6th. Gabe Sterling, Chief Operating Officer, for George Secretary of State, said in a Twitter post on Wednesday. Third candidate, Libertarian Chase Oliver, siphoned off 2% of the vote. So, uh, I mean, I guess if you need 50%, I mean, that's 2% that kind of took away from both both people. That makes sense. Warnock, a pastor at Ebenezer Baptist Church. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. E Warnock is a pastor at a Baptist church. Interesting. Very interesting. I thought, I thought Baptist people were generally, generally um, not Democrat, but they maybe not. I mean, isn't Joe Biden Catholic? I just realized that. Like Joe Biden and the Pope, isn't there like a photo of them hanging out? 
I don't know. Some of the liberal, liberal um, Catholic stuff is really, I don't know, not good in my opinion, I'll put it that way. Really kind of scares me. And it's like Catholicism is the most, you know, traditional religion. I mean, I'm not a theologian, but I mean, when you think of Catholic, you think very traditional hymns, very old school, you know, I mean, Christianity as well. As well. I mean, Catholicism is, is part of Christi Christianity. If you are, if you're Catholic, you're Christian. If you're Christian, you're not Catholic, but you could be a Catholic, but you don't. Anyways. Wow. Too many getting sidetracked again. I'm just trying to stay on track, Dylan. Stay on track. Stay focused. Put your head in the game. Those races were the most expensive congressional elections to date at that time, with the special election between Warnock and Republican opponent businesswoman Kelly Loeffler drawing nearly 363 million bucks. Holy shnikes. That's a lot of freaking money. So far, Warnock's campaign has spent $135 million, while Walker's campaign has only spent $32 million. Millions in outside spending are also expected to flood the state. $135 million bucks for Warnock? That's a lot of dough, I'll tell you what. So Mitch McConnell turns to Brian Kemp to help save Herschel Walker and Georgia runoff. Mitch McConnell's like, let's go, Brian Kemp. Mitch McConnell's tapping Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. This is, comes from an update from MSN. Uh, to help Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker over the finish line in his December runoff election, a contest that could decide control of the chamber next year. Uh, Kemp is loaning his get out the vote machine to the Senate GOP's voter turnout efforts, giving the party entree to a political team that is increasingly viewed as one of the GOP's most formidable state operations. And now, look what Warnock had to say, guys. Look at this. Warnock campaign lays out strategy for Georgia's Senate, Senate runoff, calling Walker completely unqualified. In a new memo, campaign manager Quentin Folks projected confidence that the Democratic senator would win a six-year term, labeling him a proven vote-getter. So they think that Warnock is going to win in the runoff. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock's campaign laid out its strategy for what is shaping up to be an expensive runoff in Georgia for a seat on December 6th. Reverend Warnock will win the runoff by continuing the strategic investments in paid communication and field organizing, continuing to hold the diverse correlation, coalition that has driven Reverend Warnock's success, a.k.a use a lot of money so anyways i'm gonna end the video there but that is the big update and also guys um quick update we have a channel sponsor now so if any of you guys are looking to retire or if you want to get it set up with a retirement account if that's been on your heart if god's been nudging you to you know take control of your finances uh there's an opportunity now we have a link below and when you use that link guys you're actually going to potentially get, well, you could get a free account if you qualify, but you're also going to get access to a free consultation with a retirement expert. This is a limited time just for you guys. So check the link out below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please thumbs up the video. And before you go to sleep tonight, read a little bit. Read a little bit of the Bible. And when you wake up in the morning, read it again. And in the afternoon and the evening, just read one line, two lines. You know, that's, God doesn't really ask I mean, God does ask, <laughs> try to say God doesn't ask a lot of us, but I feel like he asks us to, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is it, you don't need to, you know, read the whole thing. You can just read a line here or there and it does just refocus your mind and energy and, and your body. Our bodies are temples, right? All right. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you very soon. Bye now.